Hey, what's up, everybody? My name's Russ with RWResearch.com. All the light is blinding me over here, so it's a little whiter than normal. <laughs> anyway, my name's Russ with RWResearch.com, and today I uh, just got something a little short and different for you. So a friend of mine, his name is Ben, uh, Benjamin Nelson, I believe is his full name, um, and you can look him up on YouTube. So a long time ago, I made an electric motorcycle and this gentleman was also building electric cars and motorcycles and somehow we converged this is one of the the first most popular things uh, that actually made it into a book um, so the motorcycle I built was called Voltzilla I highly recommend you just go check those videos out uh, and also go over and check what uh, what Ben is doing so the reason I'm making this video is because I want to show you these solar converters so Ben is building a new garage. He's trying to make it so he can charge his electric cars and run his house on his solar only. Hold on, we got a car. We're back. I had time to give me some coffee. Anyway, so I went to Apex Electronics and I found these solar inverters. They literally had a box of like probably 100 to 200 of these things huge amount and I didn't know if they were just you know taken off of a working unit or what they were selling these for ten dollars a piece um, factory they're like hundred and twenty or so um, new so these are pretty cool because they're another car they're solar chargers um, so you plug in your um, and this is kind of the way they're doing things now which is pretty neat so let me give you the very short of it. Instead of plugging in all of your solar, solar panels down to a battery bank and keeping that in DC storage unit, they just have these solar inverters where you plug your solar panel in here and this actually syncs up with the AC and you can connect AC straight to it. So each one of these is with a solar panel. So you get a solar panel and you get one of these units. And these are actually mounted outside right next to it. <clears throat> and it's pretty cool so these things are actually um, 250 watts I believe 200 these are 215 watts um, there's a lot of traffic out here today I don't know why everybody's leaving give it a break again all right I think we're done with the traffic <laughs> I give up anyway so um, these guys are uh, these are actually different. There's two different units here, and some of these are better than others. Um, but basically, what these units do is just directly convert the AC to DC. 27 to 39 volts DC, 10 amps in. Uh, and this one will actually do um, uh, 208 or 240 volts AC. So you have to plug it into your grid, and it determines what's what, and then automatically sets that up, automatically syncs with the sinusoidal wave 60 cycles these are and it's a really cool way of doing it and I thought I thought if these worked it'd be really worth uh, the money because there there's a whole bunch of these and you would literally cut your cut your cost by 90% because you're selling for 10 bucks instead of a hundred and something <clears throat> so there's two different types here um, they're different and one of them is ground fault protected GFCI and the other one's not. And also one has a 22 to 36 volt versus a 27 to 39 volt. So they're slightly different units. Now what I did, let's see if I can find that one. So what I did is I spent the time to find the pin out. So there's the pin out. L1 ground, um, what's that? L2, so hot, ground, hot, and neutral. So there's two hots because you're 208 uh, volts and then your ground so it's actually a, it's a different wiring than your you know like a 120 so anyway I connected this guy up I'll show you some pictures and I couldn't get these to work um, there's a high probability that they're bad but for I got these actually for eight dollars a piece just to test them and I figured it was worth it Ben uh, Ben sent me some money to buy these for him to ship them so after I couldn't get one to work I did what any good electrical mechanical engineer does. I tear it apart. So I tore this one apart and you can see they're completely potted, solid. 
So this is actually aluminum. And then this piece is actually aluminum. This whole back is aluminum. This whole entire piece, you can see that here. So, you know, they may be worth a couple dollars in aluminum, but I don't know how you're going to get that out of there. Maybe if you heat it up, it'll melt out. You can get it out, but, you know. So, unfortunately, they're unrepairable. They're not fixable. Um, and so, if they're bad, they're bad, and you can't do anything about it. But anyway, I wanted to make this video because uh, because I wanted to give Ben a shout out. He's doing some really great stuff, and he's going through details, showing how he put a solar, um, like a water heating, uh, whatever you call that, system in the concrete uh, of his new garage that he's building, and um, he does all sorts of fun stuff with electric cars and all kinds of things. So I highly recommend you go check him out. Um, like I said, me and him have been friends for nine or ten years now at least or at least I've known him uh, for that long and uh, yeah so go check out the Boltzilla electric motorcycle go subscribe to Ben's channel and check it out and you'll eventually get to see these on his channel in the next couple of weeks and find out whether or not these work I kinda hope they do but you know if they don't they don't it was worth a shot for eight bucks a piece well worth to try because if they work that's gold mine okay peace and love God bless have a good day I'll see you later. Bye. myself okay anyway back to real life what's up everybody hold on let me tuck this in somehow my buckles being buckled up it's a problem <laughs>